Hey guys, this is the basic assembly for the burn and design storage container. We're going to start off with the four end panels. So you have two different pieces that make up each end panel, a top outer piece and then an inner section. Um, they come as seen here with the pieces inset and taped. This is just to make sure that when they're shipping them they don't come apart. Um, what you're going to do to line these up is first you're going to take the, the bottom piece and then the top piece. You're going to try and align them as best you can. You want to try and align them right to the left so that the pieces are nice and clear as opposed to having them shift to one side or the other. The better you do this alignment, the easier things are as you continue. Now that you have the pieces aligned, you're going to want to glue them together. The glue that I'm using here is a tacky glue as opposed to using just a regular PVA glue. The nice thing with the tacky glue is it's got a little bit of give to it and it's got a pretty decent setup time. This way you can put the two pieces together, you still have a little bit of time to work with so you can position them, or if you happen to stick two pieces together and change your mind, you can pull them back apart without too much trouble. Now that you have your end panels completed, we're going to go through and try and decide as to which inset we want to use for. There are four different insets in the kit, and you can really put them together in any pattern that you're wanting. I'm just going to show you a basic, a couple of basic patterns with them, so you can do them with the doors closed, the doors open or partially open. There's also a roller door. For this one, I'm going to do this as a closed box, so I'm going to just choose two patterns that give me a closed design. Okay, here I'm going to do the final glue in of the last piece, and now we are ready to move on to the side panels. Once you have these two pieces done, you're going to let them dry, obviously, and here in the video I'm going a little bit quick for these, but that's okay. And you're going to align your side pieces. Your side pieces fit together really only one way, which is kind of nice. It makes it a lot easier to put them together. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to lay out all the pieces, just so you know where you have them and what they are. Once you have them all laid out, then you're ready to begin. At this point, you're going to want to set aside the upper two pieces. You're going to use those later, but before you can put those in, you're going to need to do some sanding work on them to make them fit just right. For now, though, really, you're just going to glue the pieces in. You'll notice that on the bottom piece, I did something a little different. Seeing how this particular box will not be visible from the inside, I actually put the bottom piece on upside down. The reason for doing that is to add a little texture to the bottom and a little more detail. Obviously, if you're going to do it so that the box is open, you turn it the other direction but it's kind of your preference on how you want to do this. So go ahead and just start gluing them together. If you need to, either use some clamps or some tape, I actually use both in this one, to help hold the box together, just so I can keep the pieces together while the glue is dry.
All right, now comes the only really tricky part of this build is we're gonna fit the angled pieces. The angled pieces need to be beveled on the edges in order to fit. Unfortunately, because these are laser cut pieces, you can't really do miter cuts. So you have to do those yourself. The easiest way of doing these is to just simply take some sandpaper and sand away at the edges until the pieces, the pieces fit exactly how you want them to. I'm using a palm sander with 80 grit paper on it here, but you could do this same thing even without using the power tools. It's just a matter of sanding it down so that you can get that piece to fit in. It's going to take a few tries, and you're probably going to be standing on it for a little while um, doing it. I think in real time this took maybe three or four minutes. Here we're going to go through it a little bit quicker, just like the rest of the video. But what you're trying to do is you want to get that edge at the top and the bottom of this piece so that when you put them in, they fit flush. It doesn't have to be 100% because we are going to we're going to tighten those up externally after we're done, but here you can see that I'm going through it trying to make sure that we can get them as closely fit as possible. You're going to have to do the same thing. And now that we've got side one fit, we've got to do the same thing on the other side. But before we do, we want to kind of clean it up a little bit. There are a slight ridge when you put the two pieces together. This is no matter how tightly you sand it, you're always going to end up with a little bit. So what I'm doing here is just using the sander to just kind of smooth things out a little bit. I wanted something a little more rounded, a little bit cleaner. So I'm just going to take it over the different edges until they all come out flush. Once they're flush, they're all set. I can hit them before I paint it with just a little bit of filler. Um, just a little bit of filler to fill in those gaps, or even some glue in some cases, depending on how tightly they go together. And then I have a nice smooth surface. But that's really it. We're going to finish up this other side, and you'll get to see the finished product all set to be taken over to the paint booth.
All right, we're just going to finish up these last little bits of sanding. We will take off the tape, and we are done. Now ready for the final finishing touches of anything extra you want to add. There are additional pieces in the kit for little lights and portholes and those sorts of things that you can add to the kit. But at this point, you're done. Just go ahead and put some primer on it, get it painted, and have it out on your gaming table. Thanks, guys. Have a good one.